Hi, my name is Monica Carey, and I want to thank all of you for watching and supporting this fair. Um, myself, as a daughter of Indian immigrants and the mother of two daughters, the stories shared through this fair are really close to my heart. Um, I studied political science and a little bit of film theory in college, and I learned that so much of life is the story. And as a woman lawyer and business owner for over a decade, I've seen the impact of some of these dynamics with my divorce and custody law practice over the years. Um, what I've learned is that the transformative power of storytelling is unmistakably real. Sharing stories of otherwise unheard voices is a vector to break old paradigms and transform the world. Storytelling exposes us to things we should be caring about and it connects us to the earth and one another. It brings voice to the isolated. So it is a deep honor for me to introduce you today to Sara Karimi. Miss Karimi is an Afghan filmmaker. You've just watched her beautiful, simple-ish looking story. Um, she's a brave and brilliant artist who holds a PhD and her prowess has been internationally recognized. She's currently the head of jury at this year's Stockholm International Film Festival. Please join me in welcoming her today. And Sara, um, if you could go ahead and turn on your camera. I don't know why I think we can't see you, but thank you for being here and for bringing this powerful story to us today. Hello, hello, uh, Monica, and hello, everybody. Thank you very much uh, for having me virtually with <laughs> here. So I'm here and I'm glad that uh, my film uh, was uh, screened in Test Film Festival. So I'm glad. And um, I hope uh, those people that uh, who watched that they enjoyed uh, the film. So I'm here to, to answer to your questions. And I, you know, I want to start by asking you, where are you? Because I want to acknowledge the situation right now in Afghanistan. And I understand you personally had to gather your own family to make a harrowing escape. Um, so where are you right now? <laughs> it, it seems that this um, place was very um, or, uh, or oriental, but it is not. I am in Kiev right now in a hotel room. And uh, uh, but uh, I was in Slovakia, uh, and tomorrow I'm going to Italy because um, I'm going to start teaching at uh, film uh, national film school from tomorrow. But uh, it wasn't that easy. All this happened. <laughs> so uh, on 15th of August, I forced to leave uh, Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. I simply I escaped. Uh, and took I took my brother and his uh, family, especially his daughters, with me because uh, I thought that it is not uh, it is not mm -hmm. very safe for them uh, as a girls. Uh, uh, and everybody knows that what happened uh, on 15th of August in Afghanistan, especially in Kabul, in the middle of day, uh, Taliban entered to the city. And uh, many, many people uh, just decided within few, few minutes, few hours about, about their life, if they stay or if they leave. So I was one of those people that I am very well known anti-Taliban figure. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also I am a very like, I'm a filmmaker, female filmmaker, and also uh, uh, I'm outspoken person. And especially my films uh, are very, um, some of them very controversial, like how Mariam Aisha, you, uh, you, you saw it is a controversial. It, it talks about controversial issues in Afghanistan. So, uh, and um, I was employee of government too. So um, all of these um, uh, uh, things uh, make me a not very wanted figure for mm -hmm. for for Taliban. So uh, when they entered uh, when they entered in Kabul, to Kabul, so I just decided that uh, I'm not going to stay in Afghanistan. I'm not going to uh, be forced to to be forced to keep silent in, under the regime. So it, it would be more better for me to go outside of Afghanistan and to be more visible voice and visible like artists and filmmakers outside of Afghanistan. So 
but uh, they, um, I, well, I studied in Slovakia, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I also uh, uh, I, I have a Slovakian citizenship uh, since 2005, so uh, I could I could go. But at that time, the only um, the only way was that the only uh, chance was that uh, come to Kiev uh, to Ukra Ukraine because Ukrainian government and especially president's office they help us to escape from Kabul. So we came to uh, Ukraine. My family stayed here, so I went to Slovakia. My family applied for Canadian visa because my mother and my sister they live in Canada. So just few days ago, also they got approval to travel to Canada. So they are going to Canada. So I go back to like life that I had before. So, but uh, wow. I got opportunity to, uh, to teach at the uh, National Film School in Rome, Italy. So tomorrow I'm going to Italy and after tomorrow the new life will start. Yeah, well, that's wonderful to hear about your family. Um, and actually right now, there should have been a national film festival occurring in Afghanistan, is that right? Is that kind of what was supposed to be happening right now? I think- you Yeah, said. yeah, yeah. We, we yeah, last year, in exactly in these days, we were preparing for hmm. first uh, first national film festival, Lajawar. Uh, and Lajawar, it means uh, like uh, lapis. Uh, like this is a stone mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, it was quite successful it was it was the first national uh, film award so it was quite very very uh, well promoted and it was very successful so this year we were we were preparing for second edition and we also uh, i hired people from last year to, for this year uh, so they were was working all already there we, we we, people submitted films, we re received films, and we were preparing for everything. So now uh, all, most of those people also, they forced to leave uh, Afghanistan. So there, there, uh, there is no uh, second edition of film festival. And also two, two or three days ago, they just replaced me with a, a new um, uh, director oh. general, he's a mullah. A religion leader, so he's going. So he's going to to be director of Afghan film. So um, and I heard some uh, news that they are going maybe just focus on films, but based on religions and Islam values and religion values. So I I don't know exactly, but somehow I am now I finish with being being uh, like director general of Afghan film. Yes. But as a filmmaker, independent filmmaker, mm -hmm. I continue to make films, and I can as a as a as an academic person, I continue to teach. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so for me um, now, it is a kind of uh, it is new journey to mm -hmm. to discover new 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 uh, ways of communicating through words, uh, through with words through through films and my new new works. Uh, I am also right. Um, I'm writing so uh, uh, because it wasn't very easy. Uh, all those uh, what happened to us, it was kind of trauma, and you know very well that trauma doesn't show its real face at the in the beginning of of what happened. Step by step, it show it shows slowly. Right. That, that uh, the, the pain and the sorrow and everything, those heavy feelings, uh, they came after, they come after. So uh, maybe now I am somehow um, starting those, uh, that, mm, that period of phase and, and I try um, creating, um, like writing script because I'm going also to shoot, uh, to film, my these 40 hours of, of leaving Afghanistan, I am going to make a, um, a fiction film. So uh, just, you know, just kind of going to, to fight again with, with everything. With... And this film, um, Hava Mariam, Mariam Aisha, am I right that this is, this was the first independent Afghan film yes. that was shot entirely in Afghanistan with the director and the actors and the actresses all living there. That's right. So 
do you tell me about your crew and the actors and actresses who are involved with this? I mean, do you know if do you believe they're in danger? Um, have they been? Mm -hmm. I am. Uh, you know, uh, I studied um, in Slovakia when I started to study in Slovakia. Mm -hmm. First year that I wanted to attend to the school, they didn't open uh, fiction film directing. They just opened documentary film directing. Wow. So. I started my film career, like my study with documentary. And then second year I entered to fiction and then continue both documentary and fiction. So my style of filming is uh, um, uh, based on my observation very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I very much want to observe uh, people and uh, through this observation, I collect stories, mini stories, dialogues or, kind of tips and everything. So uh, when I finished my study in 2012, uh, I had a very good opportunity to stay in Europe and to film, to make films inside Europe and also to teach at university. But I decided, no, I'm going, I'm going to Afghanistan and I want to work in Afghanistan. So uh, and I, I went, I, when I went, uh, when I went to Afghanistan, I didn't start immediately making film. Almost maybe four to five years, I was observing people, making documentaries, photography, traveling to provinces, working as a communication officer with UNICEF to to like to to have this possibility to travel, talking with people. So this story, Havo Mariam Aisha, is, is a collection of, of many, many stories of, of a woman uh, um, with whom I was spoken directly in provinces, in remote areas. And, uh, and then I wanted, I, want very, I wanted very much to make film inside Afghanistan in real places. Mm -hmm. Of course I could, because most of my films, uh, my film are inter uh, like interior, it is not exterior, but uh, I wanted also, I wanted just, you know, because the house of Hava, the first story, it is a real house of Afghan, Afghan house. It is not decoration. It is right. not like we just we just make light, and the second house of 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 Mariam and the other one Aisha, they're all house of Afghans. We just made some lighting or maybe some color on um, changes or something, but uh, and uh, for example, Mariam is not very um, like well known actress. She 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 used to play, but she's a sport woman. From Aisha. Just Aisha is a professional actress. Oh. She, she lived in Afghanistan. Hava, uh, Hava, Hava is is totally. She she was my best friend. I asked her to to play. Uh, so and other other act actor and actresses, side actors and actresses, they're all from from normal uh, people. So these three characters, they 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 had opportunity. Uh, um, um, like uh, Aisha, uh, Aisha character, she left Afghanistan two years ago, uh -huh. like one year, one year ago. Uh, um, um, Hava, she lives in, in Finland. Just about uh, um, uh, Mariam, which is her real name is Frishta. Mm -hmm. We couldn't, we couldn't, uh, we tried to get uh, her out of uh, Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, in the day that she 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 and her family wanted to enter to the airport, there was a, that explosion. It was the explosion in, in front of the airport, so so they couldn't make it. So we are now um, making uh, finding another way to 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 take her out of, of the mm. country. Mm. So, um, but uh, but uh, but. Uh, uh, film. Uh, we, we filmed inside Kabul at that time, and filming inside Kabul was very easy. Of course, we witnessed a lot of explosions and security issues, but nobody came to us and said to mm -hmm. us that, "Okay, stop. You cannot film." Even I, at that time, I was I wasn't part of the government, so I was independent filmmaker. I had them permission just. So. Um, 
so this uh, 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 it was so easy and possible to make films in South Afghanistan, but or, unfortunately after 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 um, after Kabul fell and and Taliban entered to the to 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 Kabul and now they are have they um they, they just they are running the government somehow they don't let um, uh, like to um, to they mm. don't give any permission to filmmakers to make films and uh, they are going they are starting censorship and they are like they um, they want to focus on religion uh, like um, films. And also, I, I believe that um, they, they don't let women or girls play in movies because you know that they don't even let women go to school right. and they don't even uh, like um, let women to go to work. So these things, uh, these things are, I think, it is um, now very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. So it is it, somehow, it is the only and, and independent film uh, during this past uh, past um, like um, mm -hmm. um, twenty years, uh, this past like ten years, because we have also other film films that they made, but uh, this film wasn't with help of any anybody but anybody's budgeting or something. Okay, I can see it's it's it's. Um hearing you say that your initial kind of training was in documentary film that really comes through in this film um, there's so many when I was watching it at first I thought is this a documentary I mean I had a moment I'm like this is too beautifully set up <laughs> to be a documentary in some pl places but there were so many I don't know the sound of the pressure cooker the steam and the kettle and even the shower there are just all these like really for me, it felt, it really felt like I was um, just sitting in the corner of someone's home, you know, like I was sort of a fly on the wall or something like I really, it was a really beautiful window. And I, and I, I just, it really, I loved the, the movie myself. Um, oh, thank it was, you. Yeah, it was really beautiful. And so many pieces of it, uh, I think, especially how the three women kind of at the end, the way it all came together was it was actually more surprising than it probably should have been for me, but I think it was because I was so enraptured by each of those stories in this kind of anthology and um, that I almost forgot about the prior person, you know? And I was really interested in how you captured so many different pieces in something that looks like it's such a simple film. <laughs> in a way it looks, mm -hmm. it's that, it's 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 um concisely done in a way if that makes sense you know uh it comes uh, this uh, uh, i know what do you mean by simple film it comes yes. from the all many limitations that i had in my life as a as a as a as a woman as a as an artist as an outsider as a non uh, as an unusual uh, like person made yeah. in, in the community and also it comes also with the with the language uh, you know i always um, i am very good in in writing in persian mm. very good but uh, i i disconnected with persian um, persian language when i emigrated to to slovakia in age of 17 mm. so uh, so i couldn't for many years i didn't read uh, Persian literature, I didn't write. So my vocabulary was very, not very rich. But right. uh, but from those vocabulary that I had, I always made very simple uh, sentence, but very with deep meaning. And the same thing I had, uh, uh, I had with the Slovakian language. When I started like to study Slovakian language, also, I wasn't like very, I, I speak fluently, I write fluently and everything I read, but I am not that perfect like, uh, like Slovakian native uh, speakers right. because they know a lot of uh, synonyms and everything. I just know just one or two. So also I, in, in a Slovakian language, I started also to create a like kind of simple sentences uh, with uh, with uh, like a very deep meaning in English too. So 
it comes when it comes to audiovisual format. When it comes that you are going to talk with uh, with uh, with picture, mm. not anymore with word. It comes to budget. I didn't have very high budget <laughs> because it was independent. It was India film, so uh, uh, so I didn't have a lot of money to mm-hmm. go to 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 very 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 um, expensive and heavy more detailed uh, like production so the way that uh, the the style that i decided to make it very simple and and but visually uh, as much as very like uh, powerful Mm-hmm. If you see that I don't, I don't show uh, the more. I don't show more detail about their them just the in situation, but in each in each uh, um, um, story, uh, which is one story almost, you see the the connection of phones, the connection of pregnancy, the connection of some uh, you know the connection of um, uh, like birds. The connection of windows, you know, mm-hmm. and these things, these these kind of symbols that I um, uh, I use like to to uh, uh, to to show and and uh, for example, um, uh, night. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it started from the day, beautiful day, which goes to ugly night and then ugly night and then another day which is ugly the continuity of that night mm. so these things I, I i i i i i try to use in 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 these stories so but they're simple but they they create meanings and uh, i told you that i uh, that my uh, my film my storytelling is uh, my storytelling uh, based on uh, my observation. Yes. I traveled to many, many provinces in Afghanistan, to many remote, remote areas, remote villages. I spoke with young women, old women, divorced mm-hmm. women, single mothers, I don't know, like girls, young girls. I, I came to this conclusion. As long as you are forced with tradition, with pat- patriarchal um, mm-hmm. society, with many wrong interpretation of Islam, and as as long as long as you live under the umbrella of tradition, country, tradition, society, it doesn't matter. You are housewife. You are uh, anchor of a like a representative right. of a TV or right. a girl, teenager girls. When you face the same problem, you you end up in the same place, which which yeah. is the end of which is the end of uh, end of the film. It doesn't matter because your fate and your destiny is is going there. All they go to to under the one roof of clinic. One is going for abortion. One is going to to check it if the baby is uh, yeah. is uh, is alive or death. One is some. So it is it is it is about the whole about Af- Afghan woman, mm-hmm. and especially when and uh, right now when Taliban is there, it doesn't matter. You know now all women under the umbrella of of Taliban regime, they cannot do anything. You know. And they 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 cannot they cannot go to school they cannot go to work they cannot uh, participate in social political cultural mm. like life so so this is this is the sad reality of of of, of our, our our my country which is a very patriarchal and which is a very traditional uh, country and now Taliban you know. Yeah, well, I, I want to find out if anyone in the audience has any questions, and I would invite you to um, send in a question if you have any, um, as we continue here with Sarah. Um, I, I, uh, I definitely enjoyed, I, I thought it was really beautiful. There were some, some of those scenes where I, I felt like I was looking at a cookbook or something when, especially the first in Hava, when she was cooking, I thought, oh, this is just so pretty. And then you're in this beautiful piece. She brings this peacefulness to it. 
And then it's immediately, you know, someone outside of her, you know, comes into the scene and then it like changes everything right away. Um, so I do have some questions from the audience. Uh, let's see. So what is it about the way you do what you do that you feel separates you from other filmmakers? Oh, uh, I, I think uh, 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 it is not that I separate myself from other filmmakers because I think uh, each filmmaker ha has its or her or his uh, style. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, I think uh, it is the way of storytelling and uh, how, they, how they decide to tell the story visually better i um, i uh, uh, maybe the difference uh, with me is in the how i look to 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 the problem because i grew up in um, in um, as an immigrant in iran then i emigrated to slovakia you know iran is a very culturally very rich country mm -hmm. then i emigrate to slovakia which is totally eastern european country and then I went to Afghanistan, which is totally uh, uh, South Asian <laughs> traditional country. And I grew up in a very, very matriarchal uh, uh, family. Mm -hmm. in, in my family, all women are very strong. Uh, and uh, and uh, also, uh, uh, I never go, uh, um, I, 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 no, not never. I, I decided to, to analyze the relationship of women in different situation with herself, with the society, with, with friends, with, with politics, with, um, I don't know something this, but this combination of almost three different, totally different culture mm -hmm. may, may be, may be um, uh, help me to, to, to different, to, to tell the story, uh, the story of, of, of women in very different way. For example, uh, you said that it is very simple, uh, but you know, um, yeah, these stories are very simple, but somehow it is a big issues. And, uh, and this is because of, of, of um, uh, I traveled a lot and I, 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 I read a lot. I just understand that you can reach to people in very simple way, not very complicated way. Because, because uh, uh, if you want to be author, if you want to be artist, mm -hmm. if you want to, to really to, to, to send your message, and if you wish that your message be received through audience. So it is not very, very, um, 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 I, 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 I never, I, I cannot ever, never make mainstream films because I'm right. that, that, you know, but, uh, but I think uh, still, I believe that uh, we shouldn't compare because mm -hmm. each artist, each filmmaker uh, has a hair or his unique way of storytelling. But you were, were you, so tell us about, you were nominated for an Academy Award entry for, from Afghanistan, right? Is that right? Yeah, uh, I was uh, I was uh, uh, in 2019. My film is how Maria Maisha was uh, selected for Oscar mm. uh, um, uh, 2019. But unfortunately, there was there was some problem maybe with submission with committee or something like this. So they didn't um, they didn't um, 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 accept it. But my film officially was uh, uh, like uh, from uh, Afghanistan, but uh, but the film had uh, this film had its premiere at Venice Film Festival and also it was official selection for Venice Film Festival and it was uh, in the competition of horizontal section, and it won also uh, that my my uh, my film. Uh, two or three awards uh, won uh, for best act actor, actress. But mm. the, the interesting things is that always all three actors won the, <laughs> the prize. So, yeah. wow. it, 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 so that was, um, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, but I got uh, like a, a kind of national film uh, award from Slovakia with my student film in 2012. 
Okay. So I'm a, I'm a member of that academy if you okay. if you want. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So can you tell us? I I I think that I read that you were actually filming, and you might have just said this even when you escaped. Um, yeah. And I have a question here about how can we help you make a film about your escape from the Taliban? Um, people are asking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just when it when it, I make it, so please watch it because <laughs> any because any film that that we filmmakers we do it is always to 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 be seen by audience mm. because we cannot make we are not doing films for ourselves or our families or some best friends. We are making films for people. Uh, for example, I am here sitting in, in Kiev, but you are in Seattle in the USA and you are watching the movie and we are talking some virtually thanks to technology. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, but, uh, but this, is, this, is, this is how it is beautiful. How it is a beauty of cinema that it's somehow the film that it, it helps us to get together to, to, to create dialogue. So, um, so I try to, uh, I will, I will have a produce, I, I have producer, so I will make the film. You just watch you it. You got this. Okay. We just have to watch it. So how about, um, I yeah. have a question here and you touched on this, but, um, how will the, will the taking over of us Afghanistan by the Taliban impact women's reproductive rights in the country? Um, you portrayed okay. this you know, I, it's and it's an interesting parallel for us here because I mean, it, actually today I think there are women marching um, in the United States because of uh, women's reproductive freedoms being taken away here. And you, when one of the things when I was watching the film at the end, I was so scared about the quality of the abortion. You know, I was like, I'm like, is she going to die? You know, that little girl. I'm like, is she going? Was she going to pay all this money and go to this place? And is she going to die? And because it's illegal. So how, how, um, and I, I think if I remember that it was a doctor who was going to be doing it and it was a female doctor. So how do you think that this is going to impact women's reproductive rights now in the country? Oh, uh, you know, about illegal abortion, it is very, it was, it was, and it will, and it will be very common in Afghanistan because there were mm -hmm. many, girls uh, that they had some relationships and they got pregnant and but then uh, in Islamic country it is illegal and and you know that they may maybe religions somehow accuse them or something like this so we had illegal abortion very much mm. in Afghanistan and I wanted to raise this issue but in general uh, in general uh, I think that those illegal illegal things will continue to be illegal okay. even uh, so they are not going to be legal any even even the most democratic uh, uh, government also come uh, because they are against uh, Islam, islamic religion so they will be illegal because we are islamic country on, and uh, but uh, taliban they are afraid of 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 empowered women they are afraid of educated and and also uh, well educated women, independent women. So for that, if you see that there are many issues in politics. For example, if 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 we go to to wider like issue, but you see the main problem of of Taliban is women, girls. They they are uh, they abandoned woman education. They just didn't let women to go to return to works after after all these issues. Mm. It seems that the real problem is women and 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 women woman emancipation and woman woman participation mm. in in active life. So uh, so uh, now uh, now there will be there will be a lot of issues. And you know, before, before of, uh, before of, um, before a fall of Kabul, and our government, we had a free, free media. Uh, we had a like kind of freedom of speech. Uh -huh. So many, many women, 
they could um, reach media and they could share or many medias, some of medias or um, independent medias, they had some research and also uh, some investigation uh, reports about, about these kind of issues. But now media doesn't have, media don't have this freedom of speech. They cannot easily talk about some forbidden issues or, or about uh, abortion at all. So now, you know, uh, crimes mm. and also uh, many, many other uh, 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 tortures and also many, many other limitations will be silently ongoing and nobody will report it. So this will be, so it, it will be, the situation will be very, very, very worse. Okay. And so I think, I, I suspect that, um, well, I guess the question that has been asked is, despite all of these challenges, I mean, everything you're describing, it's, it's really hard uh, for me to contemplate what that must be like, you know, really. I mean, even, and getting a window like this film is, is helpful, but how do you, what keeps you motivated to keep, you know, keep at it and keep um, trying to highlight women and these inequalities and make a better life. Do you, can you give us any example? You know, uh, and life in Afghanistan uh, for normal people who, who really don't want uh, very much from life, it will be the same. Mm -hmm. They will, they will integrate mm -hmm. to new norms and everything step by step, especially when the economic uh, issue be solved, they will integrate. Mm -hmm. But imagine a country without artists, filmmakers, thinkers, and with, without women activists, and without women civil society, women rights activists, filmmakers, art, artist rights activists. So how it will be? It will be it will be it will be society, but not that that society that we want we want to uh, to have it. Mm -hmm. But always um, this kind of country who 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 went through very dramatic transformation, to dramatic changes, and some artists and some those writers, filmmakers, any kind of artists, they escaped from the country. Outside of, outside of the country, they can be very strong voice for that, of, mm -hmm. to advocate. So, uh, so to publish books, to, to like to um, participate in different platforms, may bring uh, like uh, be, bring the issue on the um, on the table, and talk and showing films, making music. So. It is kind of also new new way of fighting, mm. and it is also bring give you new motivations to continue and new hope. Mm. Because uh, because I am going to make films without any 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 doubt. I am filmmaker, uh, and my my inner inner um, issue and inner story is always always it was and it is and it will be always woman issues. Mm -hmm. So these woman issues, you can film it inside of Afghanistan, you can also film it mm -hmm. outside of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Of course, I wanted so much, it is my, my strongest desire to film inside of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. But now when it is not possible, when now I am in exile somehow, mm -hmm. so it is better to find new kind of storytelling. And through this new way of storytelling to tell the stories, of woman, woman, woman's life, which mm -hmm. can be very um, strongly connected with, with stories, stories of women in Afghanistan. Wow. And so I think this is probably our last question, but um, how, how, what can people living here over here do um, in the US to support people and women and in, in Afghanistan? You, if you know, uh, uh, I want to be a little rude <laughs> to mm -hmm. tell uh, what happened to Afghanistan uh, in Afghanistan um, to Afghan people. It is almost because of a very big mistake of, of uh, US, which they um, signed a deal with Taliban. 
this deal unfortunately um, gave recognition to Taliban, gave them kind of, not recognition, kind of legitimacy to mm -hmm. Taliban and confidence to Taliban so they could do whatever they could and they come to this, now they have a government. But Taliban and all groups uh, that they, 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 they support Taliban, they are now seeking and, and begging for recognition from international media. So I think US mm -hmm. and US people can help that Taliban couldn't get that recognition at all. But if, if, if there is always if in politics, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> you know, if, but they should push them that the Taliban should become a modern and they should mm. accept the values of, 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 of human rights, women rights, mm. ch children rights, girl mm. rights and artists. You cannot, you cannot run country without, without culture, without art and without artists. Mm. But if, if they, I want if that US uh, and you, you become also our voices, you people of, of, of US, any part mm -hmm. of US, that you should talk about and you should write that you cannot just abandon uh, women of Afghanistan and also children of Afghanistan, artists of Afghanistan. So by writing, mm -hmm. by uh, sharing your thoughts, your positive thoughts, and by pushing like your government or your influential people do not recognize Taliban easily. So it helped us because we are just one voice. Unfortunately, the world was so silent when, when, when everything happened. Now it's late, but it's still not the, the end, you know? So uh, we, I ask you, I, I, I ask you from my bottom of, her, of, of my heart, please, today's power is social media. Mm. And each person is a medium. You know, each person is a media mm. because you have your social platforms, your social um, pages. So in your social pages, if you just just write one 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 um, hashtag, mm. do not recognize Taliban. It will be one voice, then second voice, uh, two voice, three voice, and thousand voices. So for sure, it will be heard. But if we keep silent, and if we say that, okay, this is not our problem, so then remember 9-11, uh, uh, mm. what happened to US? It wasn't yeah. your problem, but it, it became your right. problem. Right. So if you don't, if, but if, if you don't want to, this thing happen again, because if Taliban is in Afghanistan, if they, they got recognition, Afghanistan will be, very peaceful land for terrorism and mm. the most dangerous terrorists uh, terrorists will will be will be empowered here in afghanistan and then they can easily reach you in europe america everywhere just imagine i just tell you imagine about 9-11 uh, do you want another 9-11 in your country in your neighborhood mm. do you want to 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 uh, to lose uh, your friends, your mother, your brother. So for that, Afghanistan matters, your matter too today. So mm -hmm. don't keep silent and join our, 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 our campaign. Do not recognize Taliban. Well, thank you. I really appreciate you answering all of these questions. It's um, obviously you've been able to make really personal things public and, and political so that people can understand other people's stories, but it doesn't mean it's not a difficult thing to talk about. So I really want to thank you for being here in the middle of the night <laughs> um, okay. and bringing us this amazing, beautiful film. And um, yeah, I think that's all we have. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I, I hope uh, that um, I, I would be able to, to, to show my my films in your next next edition of your film festival and enjoy your time. Have Thank a nice you. entire day. <laughs>